Well, it's a pleasant morning in uh, Somerset, almost at Somerville. That's in New Jersey. I owned a house there at one time. Actually, I really like living in Somerville. Anyway, we're in Somerset uh, West, which is um, uh, right now. Well, I say outside of Cape Town. It's Cape Town, Cape Town, um, South Africa. I, I actually don't like to say South Africa. I like to say Southern Africa. That's what I say a lot, you know. Like, uh, like I live in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, back to the point. Oh, well, I didn't even get off the bus. To a point, right? So I'm just sitting here, get my morning, my morning pills, you know, the, the, in a while, hopefully, well, in some months, when I go to the Yaki uh, protocols. Shout out to Yaki. We love healers. We love healers that make sense. Uh, and maybe I won't be doing these pills anymore. Well, I won't be doing these pills anymore because I believe in Yaki. I know he's correct. Anyway, just a second. I'm taking a sip, right? Well, brother, what you sipping? Well, in the Eastern Cape, well, um, in the spa that I was, I was, you know, looking for show a couple of, a couple of months ago. And I found this fine product, this Vagani. Vagani, I think it's, who, who are they from? Are they South African? Well, product in South Africa. But in these, in these kind of cartons like this, right? But this is a thing called 100% uh, cloudy apple juice, right? They also have uh, uh, some vegetable thing. They had one I, 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 I liked, which was, uh, I think it was ginger, I don't know if it's ginger, carrot. So, anyway, they have healthy vegetable juices or beetroot juice was there, a bunch of other stuff. But they taste different. They taste really wholesome. So this is the cloudy, um, the uh, cloudy apple juice, which is very sweet. Ooh, it's very sweet, and it's cloudy, hence the name. Uh, uh, but like I said, these other products. But without anything, I was just okay, fine. But then somewhere along the line, it was oh, it came Williamstown, and I was doing with the hot just getting everything together. Came across this thing, uh, coconut water. Yeah, coconut water from this brand. Simple Truth Organic Coconut Water. And I have, I mean, it's really sealed, really tight. So, you know, and it comes from Vietnam. And so I, I, I instead, they're, they're both sort of sweet, but the, the apple juice is really sweet. But if you put them together, some sort of, I don't know what happens, but it, to me, it's less sweet. Go figure, I have no idea what that means. I could even be wrong. So anyway, so so that's what that's what I'm drinking, and and, and, and that's the story I'm sticking to. Um, but here's the thing. So when I got here over there, I can see it. I can almost see it from here. It's a thing called Sanctuary thing over there. But there's a store, or there's a big uh, hyper called Hyper Checker. It's a Hyper Checker. I'm in a major street here. Sometimes they get noisy. Right, and they get a Hyper Checkers, right? And so when it's the Hyper Checkers. It's it's kind of interesting because, like I said, I'm, 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 I'm gearing myself up to do the Yaki protocol, which means that I'm, I'm doing a lot of fruit in the morning. And, you know, it's transitioning to his really radical, like, what is it, 70% fruit, 30% vegetable, or whatever it is, 80% fruit, 20% vegetable. Um, I diet, no meat, no dairy, blah, 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 blah. Um, but so I went into, into Checkers, and I found... And they had these. They had this. The, the simple truth thing in a in a smaller bottle. I guess two twenty liters. Whatever. This is a one liter thing. And so I said, "Oh, okay." And they were in different sections, right? But then I noticed that they had this this simple truth. Now remember, this one. I guess this one has a um, when you open it, it has a really tight seal, like a aluminum. I'll say aluminum. You know, one of silver things, really tight, and you got punctuated or whatever have you. When as well, that, that, that's what it is. Now, the, but the other brand, other things that they have, this kind of opens up when you, when you twist it, it sort of breaks that kind of kind of thing. So it's like a different manufacturing technique. What I noticed with this simple truth thing, I mean the other ones, the other, I'm sorry, they they have, um, oh that's what I noticed. Now they have coconut water, but they do have some other stuff. They have they have apple juice, uh, they have uh, some berry kind of thing. Well. They have stuff, right? But those things open up like, like this, like the South African product will. They, they open up a, a different way. So obviously, this simple truth 
uh, the coconut water is really, you know, sealed, and I guess it really is exported from Vietnam. I don't have the other things that I didn't buy. I'm not interested in them. But, uh, uh, so that's from Vietnam, but the others, maybe they, they manufacture here. I don't know. The reason why I say maybe they manufacture here, because then I started knowing this simple truth, this brand is all over the joint. You know, they got uh, what they call biscuits, but you know, have a couple of cookies, you know, they have like, like mini cookies, the vino, the hitch, the high, the shortbread, ooh, the high. And then, that, and those even has some other products, some, what do you call those things, you know, the, the energy bars, I don't eat, you know. So I'm going, ooh, this is a big brand. Now here is where the plot thickens. So I'm looking for the cloudy juice. I see the other things are cloudy juice, the vegetable, whatever have you, but I can't find this in there, right? I even saw some, I was pick and paste it. I went there and I, I didn't see the cloud. What I said, I couldn't find a cloudy juice, right? But then I went over to this place called Food Lovers. Food Lovers, of course. It's another supermarket. It's got, it's got a lot more vegetables and, and fruits and stuff like that. And got, like, I gotta go over and get me, a, get me an avocado. I have, to have some avocado with my thing, you know? I think today, today I might go see Top Gun. I have to see Top Gun, something like that in a big movie theater. Sorry, so I gotta do it. So I'm gonna try to catch the early show. It's a Monday. Nobody's gonna be there. I, mean, I can chill, see the big screen. But back to the point. Then I realized that in uh, in food lovers they had a big display, you know, with all the juices from this from this South African thing, you know, all that like that. Um, I guess they had some simple truth coconut water, but I didn't see it. But anything like that. But now here's what I'm thinking because in other places they don't have. The um the apple juice right like that, I think that co the the simple truth people you know doing the doing the bully thug thing, they made sure that you can't get the cloudy apple juice which is much oh I'm sorry I did get the um I did get uh the apple juice from simple truth, but this apple juice is much better than that let me put it that way in fact you know uh, interesting interestingly enough. If I take this one and the other one, and this one I'm drinking right now, put it together, I'm drinking like this a little bit, um, then the taste is less sweet. It tastes less sweet than whatever. Okay? Okay? Okay. you figure that part out. So I'm thinking that this Simple Truth co 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 uh, Company is thugging the Raghani, you know, the South African, because uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure, maybe I'm not pretty sure, I better look, and I don't understand, but I'm pretty sure the way they, they I, I didn't see it, and all of a sudden it's like taking over. They've got some backing from, you know, some big corporation, international, whatever they got. Da, da, da. I'm very, 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 very sure of that. But how does this all uh, relate to what I was thinking about when I woke up this morning at 4 o'clock and just laid there and started meditating and thinking about whatever, whatever, whatever. Here's how it relates. I was in the East of K. We have some terrible problems with load shedding these days. I'm going to say, the problem is this. When you get a... a, a, a a deal for your for your phone, you know. You, 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 I'm with Telcom, but you know, say Telcom, Vodacom, anything like that. Um, then you get these these you know like overnight minutes is is cost less or this whatever it is. But if the electricity is down, that thing means nothing. So here's my thing. Here's my conspiracy theory. Right. One, Escom, the, 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 those are the electric the people that have own the grid or whatever. However you say it, give you electricity. They know about this load shedding, and they want to make it so uncomfortable that um, you know people, some, somehow they get subsidized by the government, or well, they are subsidized by the government. Somehow, you know, they come out on top with load shedding, and not the, and not the people. That's all I'm saying. But at the same time, it's a double conspiracy to me because if they don't have to do that, if that electricity doesn't come up, that means that the the this, your, your internet providers or whatever you call these people, the cell cell phone chippy companies or whatever it is. Um, they, they basically, you've paid your money already, so they basically win because of the time that they, they, they put time lapses on, on how, how often you, you well, time lapses on, on how you can use your, your, your data, your, you know, your data will, they'll cut your data off, let's put it that right there. So if you're not getting, um, if you're not uh, getting the electricity for your data at a time and then the, the days run out, then basically they're winning, Escom is winning. You know, everybody's winning, but as usual, the downtrodden, the peoples, you know? So that's what I'm upset about. I shouldn't say it like that, but it's not really. I feel very good these days. 
I'm not upset. I'm, I'm upset because of injustice. That's what I'm upset for. But uh, other than that, you know, I shouldn't wake up. You shouldn't wake up with these kind of things on thoughts on your mind. That's why you're supposed to meditate and be chill like that. But yeah, that's just the way it goes. <sighs> Actually, it's the way it goes for me. T from the Patterson stigma trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.